Okay, so it doesn't look too bad from the front, but just tilt the watch that way and you can see how badly scratched that crystal is. So let's take the strap off and look at the detail on the back. Okay, this W10 here denotes that this watch was issued by the British Army. Then we've got the number beginning in 6645 and ending in 5317. That is the NATO stock number, which denotes that it is a watch of a particular type. Now, if you look at the bottom here, you can just see 196198. Uh, you might think that this was then the 98th watch issued in 1961. There are loads of reasons why that would not be the case because actually this is the serial number 1961, which would have been written in the G1098 register and uh, in the year that it was issued first, which was 1998. Now I just want to bring in another watch here and this one is or oh, starts with 0552 that denotes that it was issued by the royal navy it has the same nato stock number as you can see it has a serial number here and we can see that this watch uh, was issued eight years before this watch so you know they're the same type of watch this one is royal navy 1990 this is its serial number this is british army uh, 1998 and this is its serial number. And here then is the movement, which is an ETA 955.102, which is actually an obsolete movement, uh, but you can get a uh, an equivalent replacement for it from ETA. So I've published on my website a video that complements this video and goes into this movement in far more detail. It also deals in more detail with the numbering system on the back of these watches. If you want to see that, then just click on the link below in the description. But the movement on this watch is completely dead and it's not cost effective to give it a full service and find out what the problem is. So in this video, we're just gonna concentrate on swapping the movement out.
And here is the new movement. Let's get it open. Okay, that is the hour wheel. And here is the new movement. Nice.
Oh, now that is nice. Now that is some nice packaging. Check out the crinkle on that cellophane. This is the really, really gorgeous NATO strap. So let's get it out of the wrapper now and check out the eyelets on this. I am really excited to get this on the watch. Let's uh, let's put it on the watch now. It's uh, uh -huh. it's a bit snug and uh, hang on, hang on. It don't fit. It no, 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 no. It don't fit. It oh no. I need this. I've got to get my video out tomorrow. It needs to fit. Oh no. Let's have a look. Hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Uh, oh no. That is huge. That is. That's like 2.8 something. That is huge. That's never going to fit. Oh no. It's not going to fit. Oh no. Till next time. So this watch is owned by Ian and Ian is a top man and Ian don't panic because I'm going to get you a really nice strap that actually fits.